Hey guys and welcome to another PES 2013 video. Today it's match day 3 of the Champions League. So we're playing Galatasaray away from home and before we move on we will look at the standings of course Group H we are now top just ahead of Galatasaray on goal difference. In Group A Dynamo Kiev leapfrog over PSG to take first. Uh, group B Montpellier and Arsenal drawing so they're now on four points apiece. Group C, AC Milan, six points. St. Petersburg, three. Malaga, three as well. Group D, Real Madrid winning. Manchester City losing. So they're now on the same points as Ajax. Group E, Juventus, six. Chelsea losing. So they drop down into second. And in Group F, Liverpool, Bayern Munich, Valencia and Lille all on three points. And finally, Group G, Benfica top. Barcelona losing. So they move into second. Spartak Moscow move up to third. So there we have it, and let's get this underway. We're going to quickly set up our lineup, of course. As you can see, the blue arrows, they're always a pain in the ass when you get those. I know someone said, why was I playing them in the last game? Well, it wasn't really, you know, I wasn't expecting too much of a tough game. So today, we're going to mix it up. I'm going to put Welbeck to start off with here. Why not? Um, before we move on, let's uh, see who else we can have. We've got Fletcher, we'll put him on the bench. Kagawa, Jones, them two are completely shot. Uh, Ryan Giggs there as well. Of course, Carrick can be in there for uh, Jones. Although he's not even on the bench. There we go. Alrighty, so let's get this underway. So the top two teams of the group... Galatasaray, Manchester United, definitely going to be an interesting game. A win for either one of these teams now will possibly put them through. I mean, it would be difficult not to qualify with two wins and a draw. Of course, we've got the Champions League anthem here, as always. So there we have it, and it's time for the kickoff. Manchester United in the white, Galatasaray of course in the famous red and yellow. Let's see how we do today. Away from home again, so uh, you know two away games in succession. We're going to need to be defensively sound today. That should be De Gea, and it is. Of course, before I wanted to move on, I wanted to say a big thank you for everyone reaching the 1,000 subscriber mark. Um, I apologise for not mentioning anything about it. I was going to, and then it kind of slipped my mind. So thank you guys, of course. It means nothing without you peeps watching the videos and uh, commenting and doing all the fun stuff. So appreciate that big, big time. But anyway, here's a chance. Thank you, in on goal. De Gea's coming out. And that is a cracking goal by him. Completely made De Gea look like a tool. And what a finish. And Staku makes it 1-0 Galatasaray. And have a look at this. Manchester United napping at the back. A wonderful place pass. Vidic missed the ball. That caused the error. I thought, you know what, let's bring De Gea out. He completely goes round him. And it's a lovely finish. Well, the easiest of finishes here, but lovely fake. And it's Galatasaray who have taken the early lead. We saw it in the last game against Cluj. And we've seen it here again today. 1-0. So can Manchester United pick it up? They have to. A defeat here today wouldn't be the end of the world. Let's be honest. But it is early days and there's no point thinking you're going to lose a game before you've even started. Vidic, Welbeck, cleverly. He had a good game when he came on last game. Here's Nani. 
trying to beat his man didn't happen for him but he will get it back he whips it in it's a lovely ball what a keeper says thank you very much Galatasaray thank you again the goal scorer the Tark coming forward defensively United at the moment a little bit wobbly at the back here is Welbeck no Rooney to start with today maybe we'll see him later on Ferdinand oh, for th what is that completely messed up he got away with that I'll tell you that Jesus that would have been a terrible pass here is Valencia to Van Persie he's already got two goals and assist in the opening couple of games lovely pass though out to Nani but it didn't reach him of course if you haven't checked out IGN there is a FIFA 9 FIFA 9 FIFA 13 review they gave it a 9 out of 10 which is a 0.5 above pairs I actually said in my video in one before that Pro Evo scored a 9 it didn't it scored an 8.5 uh, but FIFA this year, the IGN have given it a 9. But uh, it doesn't mean much. At the end of the day, it's opinions. And uh, what you enjoy is what you're going to buy. I'll be picking up both of them myself, of course, next Tuesday. Playing FIFA on PS3. There's a Boué, the former Arsenal man. And Percy, always a threat when he gets the ball. Where's Manchester United's defending? It has to be said. Vidic, wonderful challenge by the Serbian. Here's Valencia. He wants Van Persie to make a run. He has made a run. It's Robin Van Persie. Oh my word, how did he not score? And then Valencia has an absolute shocking strike. But Van Persie here should have buried this. Well, shouldn't have buried it necessarily, but Welbeck should have been there. And then Valencia's strike was uh, timid, to say the least. Of course, this is on superstar difficulty. I wanted a real challenge myself. Last year, I wouldn't have been able to play on superstar, as I said. Just, just couldn't deal with the whole defending system. This year, however, they've put a little bit of work into it and it's, uh, it's definitely playable definitely more enjoyable and you can have some uh, some good games I think the AI defensively well against the AI they definitely keep possession better than they did in the demo you'll probably see that from the stats at the end of the game there's more shots there's more chances there's more possession uh, so that's good to see here is Van Persie he'll want to bring this down and he does Evra for Nani lovely feet by him the Portuguese man's away just cuts back he's got such good feet Nani hasn't he Van Persie he's unlucky there Abue that's not a good pass from him cleverly playing very defensive Raphael wants Valencia to make the move here's Anderson so haven't seen too much of him Nani Lovely ball to Patrice Evra. He whips it in to absolutely no one. Rafael will pick it up. Antonio Valencia has a go. It was travelling. And here's a corner. A nice touch by him. And then he hits this. And it just took a deflection off the defender. Valencia to take. Cleverly gets up, but he's never going to keep that down. Tough, tough header. Looped over the bar. Now, there's a few more patches already starting to come out. Unfortunately, I can't really install them because it will basically mess up this uh, campaign. So I'm hoping that when I'm done with this, there will be a good solid patch with all the teams, all the transfers and all that fun stuff done. I'm still not sure why Konami can't release a patch. There's a chance. Unlucky. Well, they can't release an update as soon as the game comes out. The transfer window closed, you know, nearly a month ago now. And there's no reason why Konami can't pull their finger out. 
and get an update out straight away instead of waiting until mid-October but that's the way it is here's Valencia Anderson Welbeck Nani always oh, trying the little step over couldn't get away from his man Valencia out to Catullus comes inside does well and Ferdinand solid as a rock terrible pass by him though playing a little bit too defensive here to be honest with you this is the problem I'm having Ever comes out and that's a comfortable save for De Gea rolls it out to Nanny and that is the end of the first 45 minutes it is 1-0 Galatasaray and it was an early lead and they have maintained it three shots to four 45% 55% possession we're gonna make some changes here because at the moment it's all a little bit cagey I really want to push uh, cleverly up there into that attacking role I'm gonna put you know put Ryan Giggs the legend on let's see what he can do Welbeck we're gonna take off gonna put Rooney on in there and push Nanny on the left side up a little bit so a draw today would actually be a good result if we can get a goal here a draw away from home is a good result against Galatasaray definitely the strongest team in the group these will be the two favourites to qualify here comes Anderson here's Raphael just looking for that inside pass didn't happen can Wayne Rooney produce the goods today Van Persie he skipped around one he has a go it probably would have been a foul but the referee did play the advantage Batar down the right side up the line to Stanku the goal scorer the only score of the game so far he skips around one he's whipped in a fantastic ball that is cracking defending as well and I wasn't meant to do that should have cancelled that comes Galatasaray it is a foul no doubt about it Wayne Rooney was late long ball forward that is a I'm not sure what now if that is De Gea will claim it anyway a long ball of course there's the got to use the R1 now when the ball comes at that kind of uh, height to uh, enable a good touch good control Nanny Rooney that's a lovely pass to Patrice Evra looking for Van Persie didn't happen unlucky there and here's Valencia gets it back off uh, the defender popping Van Persie Rooney referee says play on Evra Rooney wanted to get the shot away but it didn't happen here comes Stanku again skips around his man he's having a cracking game Ferdinand good defending but it is 1-0 Galatasaray and at the moment they would be three points clear of United if this is the final result good ball in cleared away Oh, needs to close him down. Good challenge from Raphael. De Gea. Well, the liner has got his flag up. I think that was an offside call, but uh, it was play on. Here comes Valencia down this right side. To Van Persie. He's always a threat. Always a threat. Doesn't matter if you give him an inch or not. He will produce something. The Galatasaray today are playing well. Home advantage the crowds on their side and you can definitely tell Manchester United just finding it hard to create any kind of chance here's Rooney back to Giggsy lovely pass to Valencia plays it first time to Van Persie 
Oh, he couldn't get the shot away. It was great defending in the end. Because he was just about to pull the trigger. Valencia. If he's just play on, anyway, here's Giggs. Raphael. Back to Giggsy. Giggsy has a go, and it's a comfortable save. Van Persie seems to be a little bit frustrated there. Any kind of spillage from the goalie, and there was a chance. Here is Van Persie. Robin Van Persie goes down. Referee says, good challenge. Ever on the chase. Batar now on this right side. Patrice Ever and him fighting it out. Well played, Ever, in the end. Here's Wayne Rooney. Looking for Van Persie, who's looking a little bit tired now. Maybe he needs to come off. Really don't have anyone else to put on, though. Atar comes down this right side. He's done well. Vidic smashes that away. Here's Rooney. Giggsy. Oh, I'm not sure if he was off or not. It's not going to matter anyway. We're into the last 10 minutes. Giggsy. Valencia. That was a shocking challenge. Van Persie. Oof, tried a little quick move. Unfortunately, the defender wasn't on him. Comes Galatasaray again. They've always been a threat today. They've had chance after chance. Oh, Valencia. He's looking. Oh, not Valencia. Van Persie was looking for Rooney. Galatasaray now. They're starting to sit deeper and they're inviting pressure on themselves here. Nani. He's done really well. Van Persie. Valencia oh, couldn't find any space. Bullet comes down this. Loses the ball. Valencia. Raphael. Van Persie. It's a good play this. Oh, Antonio Valencia. Forcing the pass United. They don't need to do it. They have got a few minutes to score. They're running out of time. Kudler's coming through the middle. Bullets in on goal here. Concealed the deal. And he's hit the post. It's not going to matter. And there is the full-time whistle. And it is finished here. Galatasaray 1. Manchester United 0. Four shots to six. 50-50 really in possession. And it has to be said. United really did struggle today. Man of the match was Coolio for Galatasaray. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you haven't done and until next time, take care.